leprosy by that is off the bat just before I say anything it is a purified classic it I mean this is just such a just a gold record you know uh, yeah it's just a gold gold death metal classic requested by uh, Rokdu and this is the second album by death leprosy 1988 um, yeah following up the the scream bloody gore debut album by death which was really gruesome it was really um i would actually say black and death metal it is um a bit a, a bit both well it is mostly death metal of course because it is death but also a bit of black metal in the mix but they would drop uh, that sound uh, with this record which was really uh, polished it was really um it really wanted to do something a uh, scream bloody guard did it as well but it, it really wanted to be uh gory like you can suggest from the from the title but chuck uh, show, uh, showed here that he uh, that he would di diverse that he would go a bit deeper into more serious stuff like um uh yeah <laughs> can i name something um not sure if there are politics involved involved uh diseases world hunger i believe no not world <laughs> that is too sappy um yeah just uh tragedies um disasters like that uh, so yeah chuck's um Chuck's songwriting is definitely better on here, and it uh, it later would be even better on later records. Uh, but yeah, Leprosy is um, the um, the second part of a trilogy of uh, death death metal albums, if you can understand that. Uh, of of course, death uh, death death only have seven records and the second one is still death metal just pure uh, meat and potato meat and potato death metal uh meat and po potatoes um and yeah it is arguably the best one because uh, spiritual he spiritual healing is arguably seen as their worst record although it's still pretty good and uh yeah uh, leprosy is a short record well uh, almost all death records are short um, the longer ones are a bit uh, or the later ones are a bit longer a bit more progressive but the early death records are really um, simply uh, well simplistic they are shorter they are um, 30 to 40 minutes long and this record is really consistent uh, the main thing what I love about this record is so much is the, the, the drums. The drums are really, really uh, well mixed on this record. And the vocals by Chuck Schuldner are just the best. I really love his vocal deliveries on there. Uh, Leprosy, the opening track, is amazing. I just love the main riff throughout by Chuck Schuldner. He is such a great guitarist and he just delivers on this track. It is also the longest of the record. Clocking in at 6 minutes and 19 seconds. Um, yeah, I just love these these title tracks by Dev. Um, we have symbolic and um, individual thought patterns. Individual individual thought patterns. Uh, you have this one, Leprosy, uh, Scream, Bloody Gore, Spiritual Healing. Uh, almost all of them have title tracks, symbolic. If I didn't say that already, except for their last one, Sound of Perseverance. Um, yeah, no, and, and Human. Human doesn't have a title track as well. Um, yeah, great track to start it off with. Really diverse, really great, complex guitar riffs on there. Uh, yeah, and I just love the length of this. One of my favorites of the, of the record. Really great. Born Dead is another classic. It is uh, three and a half minutes long. Actually, the shortest song of the entire record, but this song just delivers. It just has uh, some of these really groovy uh, guitar riffs. Blended in with some really really great drum attacks Which really uh, blend well in with uh, Chuck's deliveries on there Really great track um, Yeah, it is the shortest one and it is also the most relentless in my opinion. It just It just goes really bug wild on you although uh, Yeah, there's al almost no uh, time left. So 
uh, for Born Dead because it is a bit of a short track. Really, really great follow up track. Uh, Forgotten Pass is a classic one as well. Really, really love the, um, the subtle tone of this record. It is um, a bit quieter than the first two songs, but it still delivers and it shows that uh, Death have uh, more in store than just being heavy. They show that they uh, can be a bit more on the bass, a bit more, um, a bit more subtle about their death metal, a bit more. Mm, that's the word I'm looking for here. A bit, a bit more diverse, a bit more, uh, just not straightforward death metal. And Forgotten Path really shows that. Left to Die is just a uh, the four track is a really really uh, classic one. It just gets more classic and classic with every track. Um, yeah, I just love uh, how relentless this track is as well. Just Chuck screaming uh, out of his uh, out of his lungs, left to die, and then that final vocally uh, vocal delivery at the end is just oh, it, it is so amazing. It is one of the best tracks on this record. Really love it. And speaking of the best tracks, we have pulled the plug. Uh, yeah, just written by uh, Chuck Schuldner. Uh, yeah, I believe most of them, but. Um, Wikipedia says between brackets Schildner, so he should be. I think he is the main writer of that song, Pull the Plug and Leprosy, and uh, the rest he wrote with Rick Ross. Um, yeah, just that opening riff. Du, 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 du. I mean, it is so iconic. The solo in the middle, uh, the vocals, the vocal range by Chuck Schildner. He just screams and screams. He is so much nice vocal ranges on this track it is so amazing and i mean the drums man uh yeah the song is an 11 out of 10 it is a masterpiece it is one of the best death songs ever hands down and yeah uh, actually people think that this is the best song um of the of the just pure death metal uh the meat and potatoes death metal uh, era from death and yeah it is easily the best song out of that of that era and arguably the best song of all time. I just love the song, man. It is a masterpiece. Uh, Open Sesquit is a bit of a um, bit of a darker song. Of course, you can uh, get it out of the title. Um, yeah, just a really, really morbid song. And uh, Death. I, I think Death is actually making a bit fun of um, of other death metal bands here. That. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I can't speak out of my ass sometimes, but uh, but yeah, this is definitely a, a bit of a darker song. Uh, just death being a bit more a main, uh, well mainstream, a bit more like other bands with open Sasuke. So maybe they are showing um, that or making fun of the other bands. Although I think they are the best death metal bands easily. So yeah, this is a fun song. It is. Um, yeah, after pull the plug, you know, it's it's kind, you know, it just isn't better. Uh, I'm just gonna say that, but it still is a great follow up to that. And actually, uh, also really, really diverse, which I really love about Death. Uh, then we get the seventh song, which is which is Primitive Ways, and this is, in my opinion, the um, yeah the the most difficult song to get into. I, I wouldn't say least uh, least favorite or something like that. It is still a great song, but. It is a bit more difficult to get into this song because it is, um, um, yeah. What is the word I'm looking for? It is less memorable. Uh, the song just drives and drives uh, throughout the entire set, and it doesn't really uh, change anything. Although I love uh, how uh, how fast paced the song really is, how uh, great the riffs are, but it doesn't really go anywhere it doesn't uh, it, it isn't leprosy it isn't born dead it isn't left to die you know it isn't left uh, build a block it isn't song like that so that is a bit unfortunate um i think the main thing is with the song is that it is good but it isn't great as those four songs i just mentioned it kind of repeats the same thing uh with less success because it was performed better uh, earlier and then we got choke on it which is uh five minutes and 54 seconds, uh, 54 seconds, the second longest track of the uh, record, and this close out the record. Um, yeah, the song is really, really, really. Um, uh, the vocal deliveries are um, arguably on, on this um, on their best. There, really, really love the vocals by Chuck Shoulder on this track. Um, yeah, Death really, really treats their last track as really the. Um, 
the sprint the sprint of their song it really feels like they are just getting everything out of the closet getting everything um of their arsenal and just making the best track on choke on it it really feels like choke on it is a bit of a try hard song if, if i'm really honest but def really um yeah just really really delivers on choke on it uh, with some re relentless drumming the, the drumming on on this entire record is just phenomenal it is one of the best i've ever heard and just um just when the song ends it really um it really doesn't want to end because it just wants to keep on and keep on destroying and keeping uh w willing to go the extra mile for death metal and choke on it is definitely one of the uh, I wouldn't say one of the best, but it is a great, great closer to an already great record. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Choke On It is a classic song as well, uh, but not as good, uh, I would say, as um, the earlier songs, the first five songs, the first six. Um, I, I think the last two songs are great as well, but they are, um, well, just less good, but that is just me. Um, yeah, that was the record. I hope you have... I hope you have enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about Leprosy. I think it is a great record by one of my favorite bands of all time. Not only in death metal, but they are usually my favorite death metal bands. But they are also one of my favorite bands of all time. Overall, uh, my rating for this record is a 9.4. I really, really love this record. Um, I think if I can, if I can get into Primitive Wage and joke on it a bit more, then especially primitive ways then i can really 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 love this record maybe it will be a 10 but for now i have some um, hit or miss or some miss moments here but they're mostly hits like nine out of um nine from the tens are hits and uh, the one you have one song that i can't really get into which is primitive ways and maybe forgotten best but besides that i think the the record is great and i yeah i highly recommend you listen to this record uh, it is one of the best pure death metal records i've uh, i've ever heard it is great um yeah i just love it it isn't really long so it doesn't take a lot of time to listen to it to get into it and just listen to it it is a great record one of their best i wouldn't say my favorite but it is highly up there as uh, one of their best records but yeah as you may know, the death discography is perfect, so, you know, I can review them all, and they would be, well, it would be amazing, that is one thing for sure. I hope you've enjoyed the song review, like I said, let me know, let me know what you think about uh, Leprosy, I think it is a great record, thank you Rockdo for requesting this uh, album to me, because I love death. And let me know what you think about death. Uh, do you think they're great, do you think they're tremendously overrated, do you think they're underrated, let me know in the comments, and... I will discuss that with you. Um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy Death. Enjoy Leprosy. It is a great record. And take care.